So to help out. So it's protect against a butterfly? Yeah, because I designed this to protect against you because you're a little butterfly. Oh, drop the mic. What is up, guys? Today, we are building post-apocalyptic forts, okay? So Ooh. we all went to Home Depot, got our own items to build a fort. We're gonna build it and see whose fort is the strongest, okay? So now, when they're done being built, we're gonna put watermelons in it, and if you can destroy the watermelon inside the fort, then that fort loses. Guys, I just wanna say something about the birds! <laughs> 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 oh, they left. they left. So, once the forts are done, we're going to be smashing with the weapons that we have built. The person who loses gets the permanent title of Worst Builder Nub. Chris, you are up first. Time to get buildy. Let's get right into it. Before we get started, we're gonna give a big shout out to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring this video. Finding the right products can be difficult and expensive, but Dollar Shave Club does it all for you. They have amazing top shelf products that they deliver right to your door. They offer oral care, shower and shave products, hair and skin products, and even butt wipes to make you look, feel, and Smell your best. Ooh. You get everything you need with their $5 starter kit. You get their executive razor handle and a set of four razors. You also get an ounce tube of Dr. Carver's shave butter, as well as an ounce of Hawaiian ginger face cleanser. Mmm, sounds good. So join the club today. It's only $5 to get the starter set. Go down into the description, click on the link, dollarshaveclub.com slash danger bros. After that, the restock box ships regular size products at regular prices. Thank you, Dollar Shave Club. Let's get back to the video. All right, guys, I have all of my materials right over here. This is gonna be the outside of my build. Rob, go ahead, punch this as hard as you can. That's some, who's there? Okay, hold that up. Anyways. And then, to help the structure of the fort, I got these things. Ooh. Made out of nice, solid metal. Ooh. One of the qualifications for your fort is you have to fit in it. Oh, this is not, there's not gonna be much space in here. Dude, you're just gonna be like a little nub scared in there all alone. Hey, you're gonna be claustrophobic. I can fit, but it's not gonna be comfy, but I will survive the apocalypse. And now the problem is, I have to cut this all up to uh, go over those. All right, well, get cutting, boss. That's gonna take forever. All right, Chris, get cutty, boy. Fun, boy. All right, so that's the top. Let's putting wow. some wood there. So I see, it's like a little wood bomb shelter. Yeah, exactly. Do you think you could survive a nuclear blast in this? Yeah. Probably not. Guys, since the grass is not level, we're gonna build on the cement and then bring it over. This because this because the grass is giving us complications here. Yes. Once again, Chris is always is the most complicated and just takes forever. It's very true. For mine, I made it simple. Yeah. I'm gonna be done with mine in like okay, five. We'll minutes. see who survives the apocalypse. Then, yeah, okay? bro, Rob, I don't know if Chris is gonna survive. <laughs> All right, Rob, hold this up for me. And Chris is gonna be putting some hinges on to attach it. I have to put on a ton of hinges. So she's almost complete. I just need to add some decoration and we also got to move her uh, over there. Okay. Also, we have all the hinges on it, so it's gonna be nice and sturdy. So Rob, go ahead, help Chris out with the S. Um, just ignore it. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that. The shell is going on. Boom. Chris is finalizing his decorations here. As you can see, you got some cool duct tape, you know, little things. Makes it looks quite nice. It looks like a bomb shelter. Looks like a little bomb yep, shelter. That's exactly how I designed it. All right, Chris, well, now it's all decorated. So go ahead and get inside. Rob, can you hold up the apocalypse shelter for me? Um, you know, an apocalypse, you might be you by yourself. Fine. Yeah, you might be, but you Robert- might be by yourself. Good point, Rob. Bonk is it. You know what, fine, I'll give you a little assistance. All right, close it. Oh! Oh wait, we gotta... Let no, us. don't lock me in here. You gotta seal the hatch. No, don't lock me in here. So I call this fort Apocalypse Turtle. Apocalypse Roast Survival That's Turtle. That's the worst name for this name. Where'd you get a turtle from? It's a turtle show. And this is his turtle head, so. The objective is if you can destroy the watermelon that's hiding in the fort, you get a point. It's all locked up, guys. Here's the key. No one was fooled by that. <laughs> 
All right, I'll, I'll build next. My turn, guys, and I'm gonna be using Chris's stupid fort as a workbench. Hey! <laughs> it's not stupid, but I'll be using it as a workbench. Well, obviously it's useful if you're using it as a workbench. Yeah, well, Chris, no one cares about a workbench in the apocalypse. We're using a teepee style method here. It's gonna be great. And honestly, it took about 10 minutes thinking about this, so not 100% sure how well this is gonna go. Oh so, boy, am I excited to see this. Can you please hold on to this? I guess what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna stand up here. You guess? And hope that we can uh, just screw these puppies in correctly. This is literally my, all I have. If this doesn't work, then we're dead. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Jeff looks good. Dude, that's pretty sturdy. So far, so good. Honestly, it's pretty sturdy. What are you laughing? Nothing. This is gonna be the greatest sport you've ever seen in your life. Nope. But the question is, is it gonna protect the watermelon? Good question. I don't think so. <laughs> are you just now realizing that it's not gonna work? Guys, we have a problem here. Didn't get enough wood. I have some outward spikes to... Ooh. Oh. Angie alert. Jeffrey has finished putting what he left of the wood that he has on. But we have some bamboo here. So to help is that going to protect against a butterfly? Yeah, Chris, it, it, I designed this to protect against you because you're a little butterfly. Oh, got the mic. We're going to wrap this around it. I don't even know if it's going to reach around the whole thing. I think it will. Creating a secure perimeter. This is the weakest apocalypse sport I've ever seen. What the? I was gonna say straight. <laughs> what the? It's not even gonna reach all the way around, dude. You're gonna have a permanent door. Ow. Dude, what, what is, is this that? Crap? Here. This is the worst creation I've ever made in my life. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Jeff, your watermelon's dead. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Give me the duct tape. Five minutes later. I kind of like it. It's it's a little bit quirky. And now we have some tiki torches, guys, that we're gonna be using to fend off evil spirits. What about the zombies? Or the zombies. That can easily crawl through your openings. Then you're just gonna have flaming zombies attacking your fort. That's fine. Okay, it's time for the ceremony. Just light it. Wahoo, Uh, There we go. At the cron side to make sure to validate that I can indeed fit. So I do indeed fit inside. Can't forget about putting the watermelon in. It's watermelon! So the name of my fort is the TP Torch. Ooh. I rate it a zero. Wow, Ooh. I rate your. Your fort out of 10, it's probably gonna do real well. <laughs> for being honest here, okay, it is time for Robert to do his fort. All right, so for my materials, I got, I got four metal poles and some massive bamboo sticks. Ooh. I don't know how this is even gonna work out, but I guess we're just gonna give it our best. Go ahead and start hammering. Don't hit me, dude. Oh, gonna want, this is gonna take a while. You're gonna want these deep, Rob. Don't hit me. This is a bad idea. Just do it. Yeah. You have to roll with it now, Rob. <laughs> well. Whoa. You know, this really isn't going as planned. Now we just gotta figure out how much bamboo. That is not even that much. <laughs> so Rob, it looks like you gotta make like a circle. Like, like a burrito, like this. Hi. You gotta make it like this big. <laughs> We're gonna use these poles here to hopefully help keep them up, the bamboo. Dude, why is that so loud? This is the weirdest thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have the pole in place. All right, Rob, verify that you can fit in there. Hop in. How's it in there, Rob? Alone. <laughs> Robert, what are you calling here? It's the bamboo shoot. The bamboo shoot? <laughs> Let me out of here. Get me out of here. Rub's <laughs> in the bamboo shoot. All right, watermelon's going in. The watermelon's in. Guys, vote for which one is your favorite. We have the bamboo shoot, we have the TP torch, and we have the apocalypse turtle. I like turtles. The vote up in the poll. Which one is your favorite? But now it is time to destroy and see which one is the strongest. So now we're moving on to the destruction phase and you have to use your own weapon that you built in one of our previous DIY videos. 
So I will be using Fix Your Face, and I will be destroying Robert's fort. All right, Rob. We got 30 seconds on the clock. This story in three, two, one. Oh, gosh. Oh, dude. This is strong. Oh. Oh. Goodbye, watermelon. He didn't even need 30 oh. seconds at all. <laughs> 15 seconds to destroy my four. Right, it did take Chris's first hit fairly well. I'm gonna be honest, it was a lot stronger than I thought it was gonna be, so. That is true. Moving on to uh, Jeffries. Guys, we're blowing out my cheeky torches for this one just so we don't have any uh, danger. For safety, and we're also moving him. Safety is our number one priority after danger. All right, Jeffrey, say sayonara. Rob, for 30 seconds. Start in three, two, one, Here go. we go. Oh. Oh. oh! You got three what? seconds for the melon. This is actually... Oh. Very... Oh! Dude! Oh, he can get in there now. 15 seconds, Rob. Yeah. Oh. Robert, destroy the melon. No! I destroy the melon. Ah. Oh, no, I'm missing. Oh, oh melon destroyed. Oh. Oh. Watch out, watch out, watch out! Oh. Dude! How much time? He had five seconds remaining until he got the melon. My afford held him almost to 30 seconds. Jeffrey, the, your bamboo fencing was very resilient. Well, wow. you had the perfect weapon for the job though. Yep. So I'm gonna be using Steel Crusher to try to break into Chris's fort here. Stand back. Let me get the timer ready, bro. Stand back. All right. 30 seconds begins now. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 Dude. <laughs> You're doing nothing! Oh. Dude, that is... Oh! <laughs> it's working perfectly! No! Oh. 10 seconds! Oh. Oh. 5 seconds! Ah. Oh! And time! Dude! My watermelon survived! What the turtle power, dude? That was dangy. The first time I hit the hit the fort, <laughs> it like flung near me. It was look at the damage. Really That's not damage. Yeah, really not a lot of damage here. Wow, this thing held up. So it looks like I'm the winner of this challenge, and Robert and Jeffrey get the title of nub builders. So we are the worst nub builders on the planet. <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys check out our other videos. Click here for our previous. Click here for the video that YouTube recommends to you. Click in the middle to subscribe and go into your mom's account, your dad's account, your brother's account, your grandma's, your grandpa's account, and okay, subscribe okay, on okay. every single one. Okay. We'll see you.